Hi, Ryle from Real Perfect, and this video I will share with you how to use the restrictions on iPhone, iOS 12 and up. Guys, you take the device of your son, you can do it with sharing family from your device, but on this video I will share with you how you take the device of your son or daughter and you, uh, you log in with the iCloud password of your own and you play with the options over there that you can really make your son have a much greater life, better quality of life, and not to see inappropriate content. So without uh, no further ado, let's jump into the video right now. And don't forget, if you will find this video helpful, subscribe and hit the like button. So let's jump into it right now. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna go into setting. Let's go to setting. And now you scroll down into screen time, screen time. And now the first thing when screen time, uh, you never uh, deal with that before. So the first thing you want to do, use screen time passcode here. Use, I will make one, one, one. Again, one, one, one. And it will ask me the first time to put my Apple ID and password. So let's do it fast. Okay, now that we are in, we're starting with downtime, or downtime, you see it? Let's click on it. Put the password you, we created, 111, by, by, for this video. And now, downtime, downtime, we'll turn it on, and now you control all the entire phone or iPad of the kid, from which time to what time, from, uh, let's say, 6, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m., not to use the iPhone or the iPad. So you just do it for every day. Let you see over here, it said from 7 to 10 p.m. No, I'm sorry, from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. So you can set it up and choose different time by just scrolling down and choosing the time fit the needs of your child in the family. Okay, so now, as you see on the bottom, it said over here, block a downtime. So if you want the phone to be blocked, all apps should be blocked. So you turn it on, not off, on, you see? Now you can customize the days. Let's click on customize days. And you can choose for each day different time. It's uh, more convenient at, uh, at weekends, you know, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. So you can give them more time to be on the phone or on the iPad. So you can set up different time from one point of a time to a different point of a time that the iPad should be off. Okay, let's go back now to the next step. You can uh, enjoy uh, protecting your son or your daughter, whatever it is. App limits, you click on app limits and now you can add limit. You can add limit as you see on the top. You can add to all apps in category or you can just had limit to a spe spe specific app and social or in games, uh, whatever you choose, and then you choose which apps in games you want to control. That from one for from one point to a one point, you do not want him to use the that specific app. So that's app limits. Now the third tab over here, communication limits. We click on it and now over here, the first option is giving us is during screen time, limit who you can communicate with during allowed screen time, which means if you allowed screen time, who can really communicate? Contact only can communicate with them or contact and groups with one at least contact that he has or for, with everyone. So uh, most parents choose contact only. Okay, so that's if you want to control when he's allowed to use the phone or the iPad. During downtime, during downtime means he is allowed with everyone to communicate with the social apps or only with specific contacts that you will allow them. Okay, okay, back to the beginning. Okay, to the homepage, let's call it of screen time. Always allowed. Always allowed means that these apps, even when the iPhone or the iPad is blocked, it should still have this 
apps like phone, messages, FaceTime, maps. You can, maps has no good, not, it doesn't have to be really. So let's just uh, you, you remove it. And FaceTime and messages and phone, you want, you want it to be always on when you're not home. You want them to have a communication with you guys, with the parents. So that's my recommendation. But you can also choose and add any app and that you feel that you want him to have always on back to the next very important and the main 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 uh, power of screen time is this contact and privacy and privacy restrictions so let's click on it and let's turn it on right now that's the worst important part and let's start explaining the first one as you see itunes and app store purchases at the top installing apps you can allow them to or not allowed him to install apps doesn't make a difference what's going on with the first four tabs we explained if you right now deciding that is not allowed to install apps is not allowed to install apps forever until you allowed it so this you know, this over here right now doesn't make a difference one time and whatever it is it will be the way you set it up until you change it again so installing apps, you, if you allow, so then he, has, he, is, he will be able to install. Deleting apps, allowed or don't allow to delete apps on his device, okay? And then in app purchases, allowed or don't allowed. Sometimes he has a game that he can buy colors, balls, whatever powers. So you can just stop it by doing don't allowed, okay? Now, as you see, require password, you can ask don't require or always require from him when he is installing apps, deleting apps or in, in app purchases, he will have to use um, password. So you can choose a require password or don't require. Okay, now the next thing is allowed apps. Those are apps, the main apps of the phone. If you uh, turn off Safari and he has no other browser Safari will be out and he has internet out he has no internet until you go to his device and turn it back on so you can control his internet by doing so so too by FaceTime camera for some reason you don't want to take pictures of someone or whatever places that he goes uh, uh, same thing with uh, Siri you understand airdrop carplay itunes store news health okay itunes store you don't want them to, to buy movies or see movies okay or songs you don't want them so you can control all these apps that will be disappearing until you go back to his ipad or iphone enabling them okay so you can disable and enable all of those allowed apps <clears throat> okay the next main important is contacts restrictions on the internet or on the phone watch this the first thing is you can uh, control everything about the quality of life you want for your son or daughter is music and broadcast news and workouts if you don't want it to be with explicit words i'm sorry then you can just uh, go and say ask for just clean okay same thing over here movies and videos you can turn it on and off if you can watch videos uh, it mean it means movies when you said videos it doesn't mean on photos on the photo app so you can just turn it off or on on video on music i'm sorry music videos turn on and off okay something you something music profiles on and off you can control them movies you can control the age you want you can say I am don't allow it, no apps. You can control from pay age of twelve, age of fourteen, age of sixteen, age of eighteen movies that is allowed to watch up to age of eighteen, or all movies allowed. Okay, and also you can control show movies in iCloud, so you can turn it on and or off on his device. Okay, same thing by apps. You can use, you can control which age of app you're allowing him to use on the phone. So you control don't allow apps and then the whole entire phone is will be uh, closed. But uh, when you don't allow the apps, the main apps like phone and messages will still be on. 
okay now the most important part is is web web content you can just leave it like that you can use and see whatever you want or limit adult website and this option i don't recommend leaving it like that because a lot of times you can just write on google search words that uh, oversmart the google engine with apple limit as adult website and you can still see uh inappropriate content what what i highly recommend is going to the next option which is allowed website only and you choose with which website you will visit so you can add website and only the one you choose for him this is the only websites he will be able to use on his phone or ipad even though he has different search engine and so too so on you can go to game center right now and oh before that you see siri you can control siri not allowed to use for uh, for web uh, search content same thing expl explicit explicit words you can also don't allow him um, to use siri for them siri will tell them i'm i'm not allowed to respond for those words multiplayer games you can choose only contacts friends only uh, or don't allow okay same thing adding friends if you can add friends yes or no connect with friends allowed or don't allowed with on games screen recording when he's playing or using the phone allowed or don't allowed okay nearby multiplayer allowed or don't allowed all of those private messaging allowed or don't allowed if you found this video helpful in any way please don't forget to support the channel uh, subscribe and give a thumbs up to the video thank you so much